God bless, God bless you out there across the globe. Global and Christian friends. God bless the American people, the American government, pastors, saints, and churches. There's so much incredible thing that we've learned and we're going to teach that you'll have to hold on to your horses, I suppose, to try to grasp the vastness of what's to be given unto us. God bless you again out there, the military. But when Jesus wants to show you something, give him time and observe what he wants to show you. There are many things about God that the world do not know. And you can only receive them when they are revealed by God himself to you. We've said before that tradition teaches us that according to Hebrews 11 and 5, faith can translate you into the very presence of God without dying. And that for that translation, put your faith in the power of God. Your substance, transport, translation into the very presence of God. great thing that you're going to learn and we give God the honor, the glory, and the praise for the thing that he shows us. Even the lost realm of the children of Israel with God. Think about that. The lost realm, R-E-A-L-M, of the children of Israel with God. We said when Jesus wants to show you something, give him time and observe what he wants to show you. Great moments with Jesus just don't happen just because Jesus himself being among great multitudes of people following him. I've seen the audience of more than a million people in one setting, which some pastors have said to me that this was one of Jesus' prophecy of John 14 and 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me and this particular mode of faith is so impact with power. I want to stop here a brief moment about this particular mode of faith because we've just said that our faith can translate you into the very presence of God without dying. And we've just said also about the lost realm of the children of Israel with God. And we also understand that in Deuteronomy 20, uh, 32 and 20, God said, this people have no faith. They are children without faith. So if they are children without faith, they don't have the possibility 
of using faith to be translated into the kingdom of God. We got to understand these kind of things and see them what they mean. Now, this mode of faith we're talking about uh, that is caused more incredible uh, things for the world than in its own comprehension for itself with its customs which carry it being the world forward. And Jesus said the work that I do of which we are going to show in great detail from scriptures in order to prove them in the light of the scriptures with the spirit of the scriptures themselves. Jesus said, Shall he, the believer, that believeth in me? Uh, there's also a great realm of Jesus, which the scriptures also verify prior to this revelation of the believer that believeth on me, he says, These shall he also do, and greater works. And I want to make it quite clear that simply reaching to over one million people in one setting at any time on earth and among any nation, whether they be Jewish or Gentile, is not a greater work or greater works defined by Jesus for the world. These millions of people are only more in numbers, not in works. It is good to have an audience of over a million people to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to, which Jesus nor the apostles were able to reach in one setting. Because of that, Jesus himself told John, who was, to tarry till I come, that's, uh, uh, you know what, that's fine, that's John 20 and 11, uh, John uh, 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 21, 22, but it was uh, uh, fulfilled in Revelation chapter 20, verse 11. Uh, 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 Jesus told John of the gathering of Luke eight thirty nine. he had previously healed also casting out demons after he told the apostles, let us go over to the other side. Of him, Jesus told John about this gathering that he healed earlier. For he that is not against us is on our part. That's Mark 9 and 40. Therefore, the one million people who attended any audience, no church or stadium can contain that amount of people. All right? which brings up that other medium of television, causing some pastors to think, as some also have told me that, because they are able to reach many and millions of people, that the medium of television, or through the medium of television, that they also have done a greater work, or greater works than Christ. Hmm. Jesus did not say, he that believeth on me shall reach greater numbers, but that he shall do greater works than these which I do not reach. God bless you. Next time, Grover Christian Friends, uh, <clears throat> we're going to some mighty great powerful knowledge here, but stay put. Till next time, God bless you.